while ago. I don't know if he still does, but it, um, he's he wasn't a fan of Utopia. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say that much. Oh, he didn't yeah. like Utopia. Yeah. <laughs> so we're starting off strong. Exactly. Um, so there he goes. Minty trying to keep a solid wall between uh, Luma and Mario here. Yep. Just playing accordingly. That was, I mean, adept. <laughs> you know, aware by by uh, Mars. Most players wouldn't have F smashed Luma there, I'll tell you that. So it was good on him. Now he has 13 seconds to just brawl out Rosa. He's doing a good job racking up some damage, but now he has to be careful because Luma is back. Luma is back, but the thing that Mars could have done there was Luma had respawned when Rosalina was in the disadvantage state, holding ledge, right? So if Mars had been really patient and reactionary to Rosalina's ledge option, you could have easily seen Luma just go off again. But a little bit of impatience there will cost him that opportunity. Um, either way, he is back with stage control. And just solid back throw by uh, by Mincy there. He's punishing the landing with dash attack. You definitely see that from a lot of Rosalina players. Just to uh, safely stall out time for Luma's respawn. Ooh, and Mars just trying to take care of Luma, but I don't think that was an optimal option to hit Luma again, because there is a certain threshold between where Luma does suffer from hit stun. Yeah, then, definitely. Yeah. Yep, seeing the dash attack again. Ooh, actually, really nice call out there. Wow. Um, that's something Utopian also does a lot, is um, when opponents land on him, they'll just, you know, up smash immediately. Really smart stuff. Can't land on Rosa. And now, I feel like Mars is... I'm already starting to see a little bit of fishingness. Like, a fishingness? Uh, I feel like he's getting a little bit impatient going with these back airs. So it's really smart, actually, for Minty to, to be patient right now. This is exactly exactly what he needs to do. He doesn't need to approach him at all. He he really doesn't, because it's more of you know you're stopped down. I'm like, wow. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> we just saw good Smash Four gameplay into double roll. I don't know what wow. caused Minty to have that <laughs> idea, but oh you, you, you had it, man. You had it. Why'd you, why'd you, you just had to say, You just had to stay patient because <laughs> you're Rosa. You don't, if your opponent is in that situation, like in this situation he was in, he literally had it in his hands right there. <laughs> he did, yeah. He, he had full had control. Right there. Uh, yeah. And I mean, he was forcing Mars to approach him, and with that, he could do literally anything. Yep. So, okay, well, kind of gives that away, and now we're seeing Mars back in the lead. Luma just died. Another 13 seconds. But uh, as we've been seeing, Minty already has stage control. Seems to be playing better when <laughs> he doesn't have Luma. Surprisingly, yes, which is really weird. You think it'd be the other way around. Right. Most players do get impatient and try to immediately hit Rosa while Luma's gone. But oh, Mars oh, going for the up oh, smash and takes the game. Oh, was wow. that? Did did did, did, oh, did oh. Minty just die at 89 after hit? What? I don't I don't think that actually happened, but. <laughs> Did it? Because, oh. Yes, yes he did. Oh my what? god, he got 89 after hit to up smash. I wanna, I wanna take the ratio. That was staled because he hit Luma first. That was awful. What? Oh, that was so bad. That was Smashville. Oh. Wow, that was, I mean, I know Rosa's light, Oh, okay, but. okay. Tumultus says Rosa was charging up smash. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I, I was okay. I was heavy tripping right there. I, <laughs> I was like, there is no way. No, I mean you're right, you're right. But like that situation specifically, that was really, that was very specific. <laughs> that was some stuff. That was, that was some insane. stuff. Okay, but, no worries. But as far as stages, they should not go to town and city for sure. So it seems like they picked battlefield. Um, I mean, what can I say? You know, Minty had the game plan. He still does. You know, as long he as he sticks to it and doesn't, you know, overextend for no reason, he'll be golden. Exactly. And this is, you know, this is definitely his stage. This, this is definitely is a good stage for Rosa, yeah. Stage because Rosa. of this, exactly. nowhere dodge. I feel like he might not have been able to kill off that read, but uh, definitely should have read the air dodge there. Exactly. Forward throw. Yep, getting stage control. It seems that Minty does have full control in this entire game right now. Ooh. Wow, yeah. Minty just playing the advantage state super well. I mean, until you see that, but I guess I didn't go punish. 
Th this is what I like to see. This is prime <laughs> Smash 4 gameplay. You know, when I when I lose and I think to myself, what could I have done better? Let's just say Minty's demonstrating what I could have done better. <laughs> right oh now, as we speak. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Wow, <laughs> that sending, was some weird property. Uh, sending, sending Luma in all the wrong directions, <laughs> but... <laughs> okay, well... He took care of Luma, but it was definitely much more effort than it needed to be. Yeah, most certainly, but uh, we're still chilling. And I don't know, man. Minty's movement is definitely so much more different when he doesn't have Luma. Exactly. Which is nice. I mean, it's good to adjust according to the situation. So definitely, ooh, Minty wants Mars to get up there. He wants to get that up air kill. Yeah. There he's, he is. He's going to need to tack on a lot of percent. Well, Mars will before he can do any sort of killing. So. This is. what I mean, what can I say? Like, you have the lead, you force the approach. Really, that's all you need to do. And, wow, fantastic. Gets, gets that two frame on the dare. I, was it a two frame, actually? Because I feel was like. It? I feel like. I feel like it could have been Luma just had a big enough hitbox to attack. Okay. Um, I've definitely seen that before from like Falcon, uh, but I mean it I might have been two frame. Either way, good timing. And Minty just giving me all the time in the world to just deliberate that just by just standing. This is great. I mean, it's it's like we said the first game. He doesn't <laughs> have to do anything really. He, yeah. Mars has to approach him. I think even still, he's still approached. I feel like that's why he's in disadvantage right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Oh, yeah. The panic roll after the grab didn't work. He <laughs> upping the up B, but... I'm not sure exactly what Mars can do in this situation, because Minty is camping out on the top platform yeah. a lot, and it's forcing Mars to kind of... He can't. He can't do. Yeah, really. He, he, can't. he really can't. He can't. Uh, it, it's mainly just about moving in a certain pattern to bait an attack from Rosa, or trying to get safe pokes, which is really difficult. Oh, didn't. Oh, I, I, I would, didn't. I would have oh. been surprised if Rosa wasn't able to make it back. <laughs> yeah, she same. Because she could go from Blast Zone and go back Right. Up, I thought so. that there was a small chance that um, Minty actually had lost his double jump right before the footstool, so I was like ah, okay. super concerned. But <laughs> I mean, that actually looked like an intentional footstool. So, who knows? Okay, so Mars taking that stock off of Minty here, and it's looking at, like a similar situation to game one, so we'll see yeah, it is, how this turns out. <laughs> Mars is just racking it up again. And if I mean if you really if you really look at it, you really look at the small situations here that are happening, um, Minty is displaying the same level of patience until Mars gets in and then he gets scared and then starts pressing buttons. This is not what he was doing previously. And the thing that's really scary that I've noticed throughout Mars's gameplay, just in matches is that once he starts to get a momentum, especially when the stakes are high, he starts yeah. to change his gameplay. I know that one. And he starts, you see a lot more grabs, see a lot more combos that come out. You see a lot more patience come out of him, and it's insane. Definitely reminiscent of uh, the last Arcadian. Oh, definitely. The one that he won. And he actually grinded out of losers, if I'm not mistaken. I think he actually he did. did. So it, Same situation as right now. Yeah, he grinded well, his way out. We'll see. I mean, we'll see if Minty can stall. This could be it. This is a very crucial 13 seconds. Wow. Yep. Great grab, forward throw, and are you going to read the neutral getup? Are you going to read the neutral getup? Oh. He tried, he's going for the back throw, and oh, that's not going to take it. I knew it, I knew it in my heart that he was going to neutral getup. <laughs> oh. And he gets the stage spike, and that is it. So definitely, it was Mars good. Wonder Boy. Mars, Mars Wonder Boy is advancing. Uh, he, I mean, he didn't really go off stage any other time uh, throughout that set, so... Exactly. So that was definitely a, a mix-up. Minty probably wasn't expecting it. And as Rosa, when you up B, you better pray. You get the ledge. <laughs> you better pray. So, and if they uh, hit you, ooh. Oh, Min You're not bad, Minty. You're not bad, Minty. You did good. Minty says he's yeah, bad. Yeah, Minty says he's bad. No, he did really I, I well. I disagree he, with that. He did really well. It was just a couple a major couple flaws. Oh. 